guys welcome back to our channel so today i'm going to be discussing weird things that are harmful for ferrets a lot of these are sort of no-brainers in my opinion but you would be very surprised with what people don't know when it comes to harmful things for ferrets isn't that right howell isn't that right? But anyways, before we begin, I would like to remind you to please hit the subscribe button for more ferret content. I will be doing a giveaway once I hit 4,000 subscribers and I am under 100 away from that. So that is super exciting. We will be doing a ferret related giveaway very soon. But anyways, here is a list of things that are harmful for your ferrets. All right, so the first thing that I have on my list are essential oils. So essential oils are harmful for many of our pets and they can cause long-term respiratory damage. For example, when essential oils are diffused into the air, the oil sits in the air and then when inhaled by the ferret, they have no way Way of flushing that back out of their system like we do. They have no way of properly metabolizing it so it just sits in their organs and causes problems long term. Now keep in mind I'm not just talking about like the little bottles of essential oils. Essential oils can be found in many things. Perfumes, lotions, room sprays, detergents, candles. You can use real plants instead like lavender sprigs or cinnamon, these things are not harmful for ferrets. The solution to make your home nice safely would be to take what I mentioned before, like the sprays of lavender or the cinnamon and simmer it in a pot of water. This is a safe way to make your home smell nice. I think that they can get around this by using beeswax or soy candles when in reality, many of them actually still contain essential oils. Synthetic or artificial fragrance can also be harmful. You can also find essential oils in many household cleaners. So for a safe cleaner, I recommend a diluted mixture of water and vinegar to clean pretty much everything in the home. Second thing on my list is scented laundry detergent. Now, many people do still use scented detergents with their ferrets and have experienced no issues. It's generally the same with essential oils in that you will not see problems until later in their lives because it builds up in their organs over time um, and you will see problems once it becomes too much for the ferret. So I recommend using unscented or all natural laundry detergents to wash your ferrets items in. Scented detergents are also known to make ferrets extra itchy when they're already very itchy animals so it just makes it worse for them and the scents of some detergents can be very very strong. Some people use like the added crystals that they put in, scent boosters, and it just becomes way too overwhelming for a little ferret. And we know based on the first product on my list that fragrance, whether it be synthetic or natural, can still be harmful for ferrets. The third on my list are carpet powders. Now this is something that I didn't know when I first got ferrets that this was bad for them. So it's just powder that you sprinkle on carpets to make it smell fresh and then you vacuum it up after. The fragrance still lingers in the air and we have the same issues such as with the products that I talked about before. And if you miss any of the particles, ferrets are so low to the ground that they can easily sniff them up their nose or ingest them. Now, number four on my list is a big one and that is sugars and carbs. Now, you know from watching my channel that I am constantly talking about sugar and how it is very harmful for ferrets. Many ferret knowledgeable vets are now coming to the agreement that insulinoma is caused by things like sugar and grains and other filler plant matter that you can find in many dry food and treats. Even dry foods that use things like potatoes as a binder, it is a starch which pretty much converts into a sugar as well. Other ingredients to watch out for are molasses, fructose, malt syrup. A lot of these ingredients can be found in treats such as ferret bite, Nutri-Cal, and ferret lax. So I do not recommend feeding those treats. You can find more information on sugar and its correlation with insulinoma in the description of this video. I will have some links that will show you and will have visual representation of how this correlates with insulinoma, how it affects it, and so on. The fifth item on this list is dog food. Putting the overall risks and dangers of feeding dry food in general aside, feeding a dog food for your ferret can be especially harmful. First and 
and biggest problem with dog food is usually there is no added taurine in the food. Ferrets need a high taurine diet. Taurine is a beta amino acid found in the bile and muscle tissues of mammals, mostly in the heart, retina, central nervous system, and skeletal muscles. It is synthesized in the liver from the dietary sulfur containing amino acids named methionine and cysteine. I might have totally butchered those two words, but you get what I'm trying to say. It is a neurotransmitter aid for communication between the brain and muscles. Obligate carnivores are unable to substitute another amino acid to handle the work of taurine when an adequate amount is not present. That's why it is crucial to provide a taurine rich diet and why obligate carnivores cannot thrive on vegan or vegetarian diets. Lack of taurine for these animals have contributed to blindness and dilated cardiomyopathy. The fat content also tends to be on the lower end. Ferrets generally need between 25 to 30 percent of fat in their diet. And then the third being too many grains, fillers, and uh, vegetables and fruits, which we all know are not digestible by obligate carnivores. They can lead to many health problems such as insulinoma, bladder stones, poor dental health, and more. Number six, we have dairy. So ferrets are lactose intolerant. Along with being unable to digest filler and plant matter, other things that you might find in dry food, ferrets cannot digest milk or dairy. So they cannot digest lactose, which is a sugar molecule found in milk. And yes, this does include goat's milk and lactose-free milk. Many people think that they can provide this instead and it be okay, when the truth is it's not really. They don't have the enzyme required to digest this product. The microbes in the body use it instead, creating things like lactic acid, acetic acid, hydrogen gas, CO2, meaning your ferrets will experience diarrhea, bloating, upset stomach and more. And lactose-free milk is just giving them digestible sugars, which we all know is correlated with insulinoma. Number seven, we have indoor plants. So there are many house plants that are considered toxic to ferrets. I will put a link in the description box of a list of them. Keep all potted plants and cut flowers out of reach of ferrets. Exposure to these plants can cause kidney and liver damage. If a ferret gets into them, they need to be taken to the vet immediately. It is a big problem. They should also be kept from the soil of these plants. The chemicals in the soil can be harmful for ferrets, and we all know that ferrets love to dig in soil. Number eight, we have toothpaste. Many brands of human toothpaste are harmful for ferrets, so that's why it is crucial not to give them human toothpaste when you go to brush their teeth. Instead, use a cat-formulated toothpaste, but still check the ingredients to make sure that there is nothing bad in there. Toothpaste can contain xylitol and fluoride. We all know about the problems associated with xylitol, although there are no studies that confirm the toxicity of xylitol for ferrets. We all know how toxic it is for dogs. Just to be on a safe side, keep it away from ferrets. Fluoride is toxic to ferrets and will cause heart rate problems, weakness, and even death. So fluoride is not to be messed with either. Next on the list, we have Tylenol, Advil, Ibuprofen, Aspirin, medications of that nature. This may sound like a no-brainer, but you would be surprised how many people are so careless when it comes to medications around ferrets. It is very important to keep these items out of reach, locked away, far from your ferrets. Not leave medications in your purse, in your pants pocket, especially not in like Ziploc baggies or even just loosely in there. I've heard of that as well. This can be so bad for ferrets because when they get into them, they will eat it. These will cause kidney and liver damage and even death. Pesticides and rodenticides, another sort of no-brainer, but again, you would be surprised. Keep these things far, far away from your ferrets and make sure that they never have any contact with them. Like dogs and cats, cooked bones can splinter in the digestive system and can cause a lot of harm, so it's best to keep bones raw. Rubber and foam, these two items are very common blockage risks in ferrets. They love the feeling of rubber on their teeth for some reason, so they will consume it on accident. So care must be taken to ensure that this does not happen. Number 13, Christmas tree water. So it is known that Christmas tree water can be mildly to severely toxic for pets. Tree oils from the sap can get into the water and cause problems. Animals skin, mouth, and stomach. They can develop rashes, have drooling, vomiting. With ferrets, vomiting is especially harmful because they get dehydrated so quickly. Floating needles in the water can also be consumed and cause issues such as creating an obstruction or puncture wounds in the body. My ferrets are very interested in Christmas tree water, so I make it a point 
point to only get artificial trees. In summary, ferrets are very curious animals. You should never trust them 100% no matter how good they are. They could always get into something and it just takes that one time and it could be a huge problem or you can even lose them forever. So this is why ferret proofing is so crucial and I have a blog post on my website on ferret proofing and how to make every room in the house safe for your ferrets. So I highly recommend that you check that out. But anyways, that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. Please again, do not forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram for more updates. So until then, bye guys.